was, you know, just our team was much better prepared to play than we were against Utah State. And uh, we, we uh, changed some things of how we're doing things and, and uh, to make sure that our Mondays were more important to us. And uh, this team was completely prepared when we came out here to play. So, and, and coaches did a good job, and the players did a good job, and uh, so it makes a big difference to what you're doing. Uh, but once we got on track with our run game, you know, then it kind of was uh, you know, all over for them. And then we got three three turnovers. You know, we, we, uh, we're still far from being perfect because we, we made some mistakes in the red zone that were very costly uh, early when we had a chance to, to put the game away. David James's interception was probably the, the icing on the cake because they were, they were having some success throwing the ball. And then David had a pick and then Pugh had a pick. And, and uh, so I thought that, that defensively we improved, we improved over last week's performance, but we still, we still got to get better. And then the offense has to control the tempo still even more. Coach, what was the difference running the ball between the first half and the With, second half? Oh, we just, you know, we got, to, we, we start doing the things that we worked on. You know, we're out there, you know, finessing around with these guys. You don't have to finesse around with them. You know, just get down and, and uh, run your tracks and, and get down to business. Heinz kid ran the ball really well for you tonight. Yeah, he's, you know, Heinz, Heinz didn't practice all week. You know, he just took walkthrough reps because he had a knee. But all those, all those running backs are good players, all, all of them. Uh, you know, Collins and Booker and all those kids, all those kids are good players. And the nice thing is they're all young. They're all just freshmen, sophomore kids. In fact, that whole, you know, most of the receivers are freshmen. So, so it's a pretty good, pretty good problem to have because it just proves that, you, you know, we've recruited some, some good athletes in here and uh, and all we got to do is get them to play a little, a little smarter and a little better. Did Tanner earn a few more carries tonight? Well, you know, probably, but you know, when you got good running backs, there's, there's kind of not enough to spread around because all, all of them want the ball. You know, so, you know, so, you know, if he doesn't get enough, then he wants to have more. If the other guy doesn't get enough, he wants more. So it's running backs. They want the, they want the football. They want to feed, feed the ball to them. So uh, just hopefully all of them will play their role on this football team and be happy with, with what they got to do to be successful. You mentioned back that you, you guys changed some things up. Absolutely, this week. yeah. We, what did you do differently on Monday? Well, for us, Mondays have been an academic day for us, and, two, and we only had two hours because of the APR issues. And so I just told these people, we can't do that. I said, we had one good day of practice for Utah State, one, period. And it cost us big time because they kicked the hell out of us. So this week, I said, you're going to have to go all on, you know, put it all on Friday. And so we don't even go out on Friday. They just go to academics on Friday. So what it helped us is after Monday, our scout teams were prepared. We were totally prepared for Sac State as far as what we're going to do and why we're going to do it and how we're going to do it. So Tuesday's practice was really good. Wednesday's practice was really good. Thursday's practice was really good. So we had three good days of preparation for these guys. And so it made, made a lot of difference. I mean, I was very frustrated the week before because we just were not well prepared to play a good football team. So you'll do the same thing this week, obviously. Absolutely, right? yeah. But we're traveling, so now you gotta do it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, then you need to spend two hours on Thursday, two hours on Friday when you're on the road. So, you know, it's just, it's just the way it is. So you're, you know, and especially with a, a young team, this is not a veteran team. So everything they learn is something new. Talk a little bit about Mike. He's been pretty efficient for you for the first three weeks of the season. How's, the, how's his performance? Give me that again. You gotta talk up, but I only got one here in the Hoke, Mike Hoke. Mike Hoke, talk a little bit about him. He's been pretty efficient for you for the first. Uh, yeah, Mike's been real efficient for us. He, he, 
you know, he was 12 for 17, I think, and he's he, he, he's smart with the football. He doesn't he doesn't he's not going to throw any bad balls. So he's he's been really good. So it, it it helps when you you know obviously when you don't turn the ball over, it helps you with the turnover margin. So it makes a big difference. What does this win do for you going forward now? I mean, I'll just... well, I think it was a huge win because we had to, we had to win this game. You know, I mean, this is a must must win situation for us because it helps the kids psychologically. It helps it helps everything, you know, and it proves to them that they if they pay attention to all the details of the business, they're going to have success. How much do you think having two tough games against FBS teams prepared you for today? Well, you know, I don't know how it prepared you because you, what happens is you get embarrassed by somebody, you wonder how good you are, you know, so so then you got to get that, you got to get that out of their minds and you got to, you know, we didn't even look at the Utah State film because what good was it going to do us? So all we did was worry about Sac State. And you could take do it one or two ways. You could show them that Utah State film and keep and keep harassing them about what they didn't do, or you put it behind you and say, okay, that's over, and don't even look at it and just go into the next game. So therefore, you're not putting a lot of negative thoughts in their mind, because that's the word. The last thing this team needed at this point is for me to rip them day in and day out about what they didn't do a week ago. So. You know, I just, I just worry about going forward, and um, you know, talk to them about it, and said, Here, here's what we're doing, here's why we're doing it, and and um, and we need to worry about Sac State and forget forget that other game. You know, so everybody reminds me about it. You know, and I say, yeah, they, they kicked our butt in the second half. You know, and, and uh, that's what, what it is. And I said, there's nothing I can do to change that, except work hard to improve my football team.